towards the end of this week and um, at least early next week, there is going to be more cloudy conditions, but as well an increase in shower activity. First, um, mostly along coastal and southern areas, and most areas, but especially in those locations, um, as there is a tropical wave that should come um, close to our area, it could um, be associated with a low pressure, and that would be what would be um, causing the increase in moisture, but and also increase in rains. Um, this weekend into early next week. Most persons would expect that the rainfall during the rainy season would be continuous, right? When it starts to rain, then every few days, then the rain continues. But um, our current forecast for the entire rain season is for below normal. And that doesn't mean that you can't get days or um, even a few days where we have excess rainfall. So you can still get flooding, but overall at the end of the six month period, the accumulated rainfall would be less than what we normally would get. So those are still expected, but there are going to be dry spells and also um, heat wave events embedded um, at least 30 events during the en entire um, rainy season um, up until the end of November. The longest, um, at least for the central locations, um, record occurred in 1995 for multiple stations. Others might have been 1980. But if you look at 1995, what caused that um, heat wave event in one location, it actually um, was lasted for 60 days consecutively. It started in um, April and continued um, into June. So that was um, because for that particular year, we were in an El Nino event.